I put in somebody else installed the unit. I put in the regulator. And so we need to adjust the regulator and adjust pressure at the valve. So this valve has an in and an out. The in is, you know, inlet, out is manifold. There's also a spot to measure the manifold up there, but this is pretty easy. Okay, so first thing we need to do, um, the gas is on, and I'm at nothing, so we gotta light the pilot. Bah. There we go. Pilot is lit. And of course, holding that depressed until the thermal pile in there gets warm. So, you'll notice it's still, because of where that port is on, uh, on, on carrier gas furnaces, it's usually just energized constant the in inlet so you have to turn that valve off but in this case it's not so I let that off now we're gonna put it on okay so I turn it on and the gas goes up to 12.4 okay so the nameplate if I can point this to you the nameplate says right here inlet valve pressure maximum minimum so I want it to be right in between there so I was shooting for 12.0 okay now to measure to change I guess to change that inlet is going to be on this regulator so first of all I'm going to turn I'm going to turn this unit on and use my jumpers and I want you to watch I want you to watch the gas pressure here so, turning on, and the gas pressure dropped. Now I'm going to turn it off, and the gas pressure climbs. So, what's going on here, the, uh, the gas pressure, when it pushes up against a solid object, like that gas valve right there, when it pushes up against it, then it's... Oh, move my jumpers. Okay, so when it pushes up against a solid object, it uh, it increases its pressure. But when you push it up against a open object, then it decreases the pressure. So that open object is basically the operating. So when you open that valve, then um, then that's what it's going to operate at. So you want when uh, when you're measuring gas pressure you always want to have something burning or you know something open or so when you're doing a furnace then you want to maybe turn on the furnace before you measure the inlet and the outlet you want to uh, turn on a water heater or something like that because that's going to give you actual pressure um, anyways so uh, I wanted it at 12 and and we're at 12. So, say I was off a little bit. What you do, this one is really hard to access. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. So, there's a little, there's a little star in there. Okay. So, you just put your screwdriver in there. And if it's in good condition, you can just twist it with your fingers. If it's in bad condition, you can't. Anyway. So, it's running, so, am I going the right way? No, no, oh, did I go too far? Yes, yes. Was I way more perfecter than before, than before I started? Yes. Anyway, it's supposed to be between 11 and 12. So, 
11 and 13 rather, 11 and 13. Okay, so we're good there. So we'll put this blue cap back on to keep, you know, the water out of it, but it's indoors, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll do that. Then we want to, uh, we want to adjust um, the manifold pressure, but I've already showed you how to do that. So, you know, I just basically move that up there and then take this cap off and adjust the spring in there. So that's it.